Hi, in this session I will show you how Microsoft Azure Automation can be used to control the start and shutdown of virtual machines. The first thing we have to do is to navigate under tab called Automation. Select a container or account. Navigate to the tab called Runbooks. And you'll see that we have a couple of runbooks in this container. And we will actually select this one, the first one. On the second page, you'll see that all of the virtual machines actually shut down right now. So when I hit this button to start the process, it will actually kick start the process of starting the virtual machines. Virtual machines. So let me navigate to view job stages. You'll see that the state of the runbook is actually starting right now. So in a bit, we will start to see output on the screen from the runbook itself on the status of the progress. So it should start actually spinning up the virtual machines in a bit. So let me just pause this video. Oh, you can actually see that it's starting the domain controllers right now. So we should see if we drop over to the other picture, we'll see that this domain controller should actually be starting in a bit. So let's just wait for it. There you see it changed status to starting. And on the output page, it tells us that it's starting the domain controller. And I put in a sleep mode, a delay before it's starting up all the other servers. So in 60 seconds, it will start spinning up the rest of the virtual virtual machines so let me just pause this video and you can see when it starts spinning up the rest of the virtual machines so we are back now and you can see below it's changed status it says starting the virtual machines now so it should start spinning up the virtual machines from one end Starting with the first one up here. So, if everything goes off the plan, it will start it in about 20 seconds. There we go. Starting first virtual machine. Let's come to the other page. See, perhaps the refresh is necessary. And there you see, they're all starting spinning up one at a time. So let me just pause the video again and you can see when it's finished running the runbook and all the virtual machines are started. Let's continue after the break. You'll see that all the virtual machines are now started and in the other console you'll see that all of them are start start up some of them are running some of them are spinning up right now starting so um, let me show you on how to shut them down now so if i go over here i'll find my other runbook 
tools shut down. So if I click on this one, stop my Azure VMs, start it. Same procedure as before, new job. We'll take a bit, a little break. You can see that the state of, of the job is currently queued. I'm waiting on the job to start. So you can see that all of the virtual machines are up and running. And when this job change status to starting, it should start shutting down all the virtual machines again. Now we're back again. You can see the status have changed from queued to running. You can see that it started shutting down the virtual machines again. So from one end to another, they will be shut down now. So thank you for watching this short demo of how we can use Microsoft Azure automation to actually provision, control and manage virtual machines.